Defeating Valhalla's Chosen will unlock Ascendant Sands. I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. Oh, Hal's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. Yeah. They are judges of the underworld from my homeland. Yes. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes. Where the souls of the damned were tortured. Yeah, he's been there twice Maybe or something. Mind manifested them here, I wonder. A master sees every setback as a catalyst for progress. Don't lose heart. Oh, holy shit. No, 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 no. Now I think we have a lot of um, upgrades we can use. Oh, look at that. Huh? Gunnar. This boon is yours. Keep shattering those limitations, General. Back to my story. Go on. So there I was, little Miss Brawl Magnet. If I wasn't starting the fight, I was the first one charging in to join it. Maybe it's something in the Asgard water, but it seemed <laughs> like there was always a fight to be had. I guess I needed the rush, something to keep me sharp, feeling alive. I was driven without fear or frankly much sense to hold me back. Got myself a bit of a reputation and that ended up being a problem. This notorious bully I'd humiliated held on to a grudge and tried to track me down. Found out way too easily who I was and where I lived set out to teach me a lesson we'll pick it up there when you progress further hmm. okay milady how is alfheim these days does the peace hold it's tenuous but holding endless war tends to breed quite a bit of mistrust thankfully the elves bela and big Fear are in positions of influence due to their association with freya and involvement in Ragnarok. It's the best chance at lasting peace the realm has ever had. What about the findings in the Consul's journal? Have they shared it with the rest of the elves? Not yet, but give them time. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh, I felt that one, brother. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna shit. Shit! So that's where I failed. Secret. You can't parry. I've been wondering. Are the remaining Vanir and AC are playing nice in Vanaheim? The Asgardian relocation hasn't exactly been smooth sailing. But Hildisvini and Lady Sif are keeping the ship headed in the right direction. The people seem to understand compromise is their best path to prosperity, at least. Truth be told, I was hoping the old boar would have to call on me to smooth things over. <laughs> but it's good to hear he and Sif have it under control. Freya hopes they'll join the council once the peace settles. Okay. I have a feeling if there's more DLCs, the next one is going to be about um, Atreus. Amazing. I wish to speak about Sigrun. She was eager to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested. And you are evading the question. <laughs> what happened? Well, 
After you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Seagrin made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. Oh, I won't say anything. Yeah. Maybe it's stupid, but I don't want to. Eat. <laughs> I don't want to spend those on help. What else happened that night between you and Sigmund? Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories. She told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. <laughs> then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? <laughs> the next morning, we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled, and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you misspeak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Hmm. Uh, he's been, uh... He's been talking. <gasps> Well, that what is it? Oh, so hell, better. Whoa, he's quick. I got it. Ah, that a little ah, shit balls. Secret love. What's the latest on Midgard? Life returns at last. After the Hellwalker desolation was followed by Fimble Winter, I okay. wondered if people would ever come out of hiding or if there were any left to. But flowers bloom. The sun shines, and it's safe to travel the roads and rivers again. Whoa. No one even seems to mind the giant serpent sunning himself across the mountaintops. Glad to hear it. Jormungandr's a big softy when you get to know him. And now that things aren't quite so desperate, raider attacks have declined. It's progress. Let's go. 24-7. Freaking hell. Okay. So, always a lot to do. Let's freaking go. Well, tell me, what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said... I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, <laughs> there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken <laughs> beneath the surface. <laughs> let's go. But hard to name it so boldly. Uh, yeah, it let's go. a bit off guard. <laughs> let's go. Let's get in. Get in there. You and Sigrun, I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, <laughs> I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. Yeah, that is stupid. That is stupid. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> Farm! Helvetta! Ah, are we dead? We're not dead, but we still, you know. <laughs> ah! Not too bad. Persistence is everything. I was prepared for that elf. Yeah, let's see. Shield maiden. A blessing. It's more than practicing techniques, isn't it? 
you're practicing an art. Ready for more story? Hell to do, yeah, I am. Here. <laughs> so, the bully with a grudge Over there. He comes to the inn in the dead of night, chucks a bottle of fire through the window, sets the whole place ablaze. The coward thought I was inside in bed, but luckily I was just getting home. I saw the flames shoot up and surround where my father was sleeping. Well, this wasn't going to be the day I started hesitating. I charged into the fire and dragged him out. Not unscathed, exactly, either of us, but alive. And if I was too angry and fearless for my own good before, now, well, I charged right into that bastard's lair, me against his whole gang. Honestly, I had no business coming out of that alive. As it turned out, I came out of there with a job. But we'll get to that next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is the state of Svartalfein? It's been tough. <laughs> the dwarves had been under Odin's thumb for so long. Now they're having to completely reshape their economy to provide for themselves again. Many are looking to Durlin and other outcast members of the old resistance for guidance. But thus far, he's refusing the call. The wounds are deep and will take time to heal. Once they do, Freya thinks Durlin would be a welcome addition to the council. Guys, I gotta pee. And then I'll be right back. And Kathy, like always, I appreciate you being here. Like, that's so amazing. You Sigrun you could not give her what she needed. You spoke out of cowardice. Aye, obviously. But as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone? And then living out their slow realization of that truth. I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. <laughs> if anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe. Today, <laughs> so good friends. Now, back to Sigrun and your low opinion of yourself. Look, <laughs> I don't apologize for wanting her to have someone who can be everything to her. Uh, she deserves the best. Then why should she not deserve the smartest man alive? Sometimes I think you've come too far, brother. Did I overstep? No, no, Kratos. I appreciate your point. And to be fair, if I was so right, then why am I so angry at myself? Well, that's, um, that's goddamn true. Thank you. No! What? We didn't have health? No, 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 no. Shit, that was health. No! No, we didn't have rage. Fuck! Okay, so they can still do damage. Okay. No! Fall us off! Oh, shit! Use this. Your ability to adapt is becoming your greatest weapon. I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. Okay. Go on. Early in my life, <laughs> Go on. before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. <sighs> my father trained Outlaw. me in the use of Let's herbs go. and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic. Only magic to treat their patients. I'd seen it work and work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy, a dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, 
I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're mm. further along on your journey, I'll Let's share the go. next part of my story. Mm. <laughs> Boy. Outlaw, how you doing? How's your day going? Let's go. Welcome, welcome to the Viking stream. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Let's go. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Come on, boy. Careful, brother. You're covered in black frost. Oh, I see, I see. But fucking hell, we're gonna kill him, that bastard. <laughs> Come on, boy. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Come on. Ah! Why won't you fucking? beautiful <laughs> Whoa, what a freaking ride <coughs> oh no last time congratulations old friend you really are going places in Valhalla. oh where is Mumir? is that really all you have to say to me after all this time can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims. Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? Oh, let's go. Yes. Yes, there we are. Beautiful. <laughs> 